Um, it seems to be a very, very dangerous time living in Iceland now with monsters taking over Reykjavik, the pandemic, the Yaya Ding Dong man becoming the mayor. And, you know, I just want to know how are you and your family doing in this crazy, crazy time? We're doing very good. Yeah, I think we're, we're probably some of the luckiest people uh, in the world uh, with, with this situation, really. It's nice to hear. So I can't complete. Wonderful. And you were actually one of the lucky ones who got to go to Rotterdam again this year. Some were not as lucky. But let me know, how did you start working on your new song? And how did it come to life? Um, I started working on it when I knew that we were going to be competing. So it was in September or October. I can't really remember exactly the time. Yes. But uh, it was yeah, very much written f for the music video and the stage performance. Um, I knew some key elements of the stage performance and, uh, and I knew the plot of the music video when I, when I started writing the song. Really? Yeah. Um, at least the, the instrumental and the, and the uh, well, everything except for the lyrics, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and how did your wife feel being, you know, the main part of the theme of the song? Um, I asked her before if that, if that was okay, and she wasn't uh, like uh, she didn't jump on the on the idea right away, but uh, <laughs> okay. didn't really. I didn't have to convince her either. She she convinced herself that that it was okay. Okay, <laughs> so it it became an incredible song. Um, I want to congratulate you. you on your anniversary with your wife. Thank you. And I'm wondering because you sing that love is about finding new things about each other you know, the, the love keeps growing stronger. What is the best thing that you recently discovered about Arnie? Uh, that she is an incredible mom. Yeah. I think that's, that's it. That's wonderful. It's really, really nice. I Everyone, know she is. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is talking about the music video. Um, what was the inspiration behind it? And also, what does robots and Power Rangers have to do with your relationship or your marriage? <laughs> um, th they don't really have anything to do <laughs> with our <laughs> marriage. It's, uh, but we did, um, I think it's more, it's, it's not really the story of the, the video that uh, relates to the, to the lyrics. It's more the creation of it. Maybe like me and my, my wife, we made the costumes together we make the the instruments as well for for Gagne Magne. Yeah. and we collaborate a lot on on my um, videos especially so yeah it's more the making of the video that uh, relates to the the lyrics than the actual story in the video that's so nice and i guess i don't have to ask what you've been doing the last year in lockdown and everything <laughs> I've been, yeah. <laughs> You've been making houses and costumes. <laughs> yeah. Um, apart from the teal suits and the pixelated uh, icons, the most iconic thing about your performance, I think, is the dance moves. And I want to know what is your inspiration behind them? Um, originally, like the main inspiration f for doing uh, this kind of, at least like dance routine in the in the performance is uh, Skippy Deep by Little Big. Yeah, really. Which was then really crazy to see that they were yeah. <laughs> then going to compete. <laughs> I was so excited to, to meet the, them and I, I'm, I'm sad to see that they're, they're not competing even though I do like the Russian song from, from this year. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, but like the actual moves, I think uh, a lot of that comes from uh, members of my, my family, like the, there are some uh, bad dancers in my family, <laughs> and <laughs> I just stole stole oh. some ideas from that. But I, I, I can't. I can also sp uh, speak for myself. I'm a very, very bad dancer, so I, <laughs> I attempt don't to I just don't agree. <laughs> move in in different ways. I think it's really entertaining, and and it's Thank wonderful you. to see you move freely however you want, because you know you, you bring a good feeling to the stage and to your performances. Thank you. That's uh, what we're trying to do. Yes. Um, Eurovision and Sengvaketnen is really huge in Iceland, and I'm wondering, for you personally, what does this contest mean? Um, it's a, just a 
awesome party pretty much like it's uh, in Iceland like when there's Eurovision pretty much everybody is watching it even if you don't like it like you're you're gonna be in a Eurovision party and you're gonna you're gonna pick your favorite song and you're gonna root for that and you're gonna drink every time that uh, <laughs> song gets a point and like it's it's just uh, it's my favorite TV show it's like the the best um, yeah entertainment to to watch I, I think like I, I don't know anything that I think is more fun to watch than Eurovision while it's happening um, that's basically it it's to me it's just fun and it's also of course like a um, a thing that like all of Europe is like watching the same thing at the same time and we're all like participating and it's just yeah it's just nice it's really nice. In Norway, we are born with ski, uh, skis on our feet. You are born with your vision on TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> and May is coming up really quickly. It's just around the corner now. How are you preparing? Have you done your live on tape video and everything? We did the live on tape, yeah. And we have the costumes and the instruments ready. We we still have to do some some more practicing, but we're 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 getting fairly uh, ready for the actual stage. Now it's just a bunch of other like additional content and like finishing the video game and, and doing a, a Eurovision uh, cover concert and uh, yeah, lots of other stuff that I'm doing to to kind of like finish uh, my Eurovision participation period which has been way longer than I thought it was going to be <laughs> um, with uh, yeah, the right way. Yeah. And you mentioned the video game now. We saw a little preview in the music video, but can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's uh, it's an adventure, let's say, side-scroller uh, action game uh, with some musical elements to it. And it happens in between the Think About Things video and the 10 Years video. So it, it's like the origin story of, of how Gagna Magni became superheroes. Oh! <laughs> and it's called Think About Aliens. Wow. And clever. we fight uh, music hating aliens. <laughs> it sounds really creative. And will it be like free and available on Android and iOS and everything? It will be, fr be free and available on Android and iOS. Perfect. <laughs> um, last year, uh, NRK, our broadcaster, they hosted a, a, an alternative Eurovision uh, show here called mm. Norway Decides. And you won that show by twice as many points as the second place. Oh, wow. Our website also hosted an alternative uh, final and you won there as well. So obviously you have many, many fans in Norway. Um, are you coming to visit Norway? Because I know you were, but it got canceled. And, yeah, don't really yeah I, I don't have a, a set date yet, but uh, like Kakna Magni is a, is a fictional band that we put together just for Eurovision. So we're not actually touring together, but I put together a a band with an Icelandic uh, guitarist and a Norwegian drummer, so oh, uh, we're cool. definitely gonna gonna go. Ilva Oyen, uh, shout out to you. Ilva Oyen, <laughs> we'll look her up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And lastly, I want to round this up by asking if you have a like a message or greeting to your Norwegian fans because there are lots of them. <laughs> uh, hey, Anorge, uh, my name is David Fresh. Thank you so much for your support. I, I heard that. Uh, uh, I got a lot of votes uh, in in your non Eurovision Eurovision last year, and thank you so much for that. Um, I love you. That's a nice greeting, and thank you so much for your time. And I really, really hope that you get the chance to go to Rotterdam this year because you deserve that. Thank you. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah, and I hope you enjoy every second of what's left of this journey. <laughs> I will. I'll try at least. Yeah, please do. Thank you again for your time and best of luck.